Hi, I'm Russ from 3Grow SharePoint Training and in this video we're going to see how to set a new site page as the home page of an existing SharePoint Online team site. Now before we go too much further, just a, a bit of information about 3Grow in case you're not familiar with us. Uh, we run public and private training courses in all aspects of SharePoint and Office 365 and related tools. And a bit about me, uh, I'm Managing Director of 3Grow uh, based here in Melbourne. Uh, I've been running uh, IT training courses for over 14 years. The last 10 of those years have been spent specialising in SharePoint. So what we're going to look at within this video is first of all an overview of the home page that we have in any team sites created uh, within a new site collection through the Office 365 admin console by the Office 365 admin. We're then going to have a look at the new site page and how to create those within uh, existing team sites. What we'll then do is have a look at how to set this new site page as the home page of existing team sites. So as a general rule, most of your core collaborative site collections should be created by the Office 365 administrator through the SharePoint Admin Center within Office 365. This means that the Office 365 administrator is therefore aware of all of the uh, site collections that exist uh, and they're also able to specify uh, things like the storage quota and also the resource quota against each of those site collections. The resulting site collection team site will look something like this and the home page of an existing this existing team site is actually a wiki page. You'll see this is the same kind of uh, look and feel that we've had since uh, SharePoint 2013. Now it is possible for uh, not only Office 365 administrators but also users to create new site collections uh, using the create site link on the SharePoint homepage. When creating a site this way, we don't get the full uh, administrative experience that we'd get through site collections created through the SharePoint Admin Center. Also, only members of the associated group are able to access that site, and even Office 365 administrators won't actually know that those sites exist. The main benefit of these sites is that they do currently use the new SharePoint site page as their home page, so we get that modern experience. The downside is that we don't get the ability to specify uh, a resource quota or storage quota, and also the fact that uh, the Office 365 administrator won't know that these site collections exist. Now, there's nothing wrong with creating site collections this way, However, I would recommend that these are generally used for temporary lightweight collaboration rather than to form the basis of your core organizational uh, collaboration sites. They should be created by the Office 365 administrator, as we saw earlier within the SharePoint uh, Admin Center. So as you can see, the resulting site homepage is using the modern experience, whereas if we move back into the team site created through the SharePoint Admin Center. This is a little bit dated uh, and also we don't have that uh, news functionality that we get on the uh, new site homepage. Now it is possible to create the modern site pages within existing team sites. Maybe these are sites that have been created uh, before the new site page was available or even if they have been created since then, since that update uh, a couple of months ago, then you still won't get the new modern site page as the home page. So first of all, if we access the site contents of our existing team site and open up the site pages library, What you'll find is when you choose to create a new page, we do have the option for a new site page. If that option doesn't show on the new document dropdown of the site pages library, 
then what you may need to do is within the site settings, within the site features, you'll need to enable the site pages feature. You'll see it is already active within this site, which is why I was able to create a new site page. So back into that site pages library, we're now going to create a new site page. Now for the benefit of this example, I'm going to call it home two. When editing the page, we'll also see that we can add additional components to the page, such as uh, the contents of a document library. Uh, we can embed Bing maps uh, using the embed code. We could also embed a Google map uh, or anything else uh, that is available via embed code. Um, the news uh, component as well, which we saw on the, uh, on the other site page as well. The downside, however, is this huge waste of space at the top. Now, one way that we can set this page as the new home page is to simply rename the pages within the site pages library. For example, if I rename the existing home page as home one, I'll then be able to rename home two as home. your SharePoint site will automatically use whatever is named as home as the home page of the site. So now when I go back to the home page via the site icon, you'll see it is now using my new modern page. Now, if you are happy with that new page, then of course, by all means, we can edit, add the appropriate content, uh, and we then have a new modern look to our team site homepage. What you will notice is if when we go back to the new site page, you'll see there's a lot less wasted space uh, by way of that missing banner across the top. Now, if you would like to uh, use uh, this type of layout for your new site homepage, unfortunately, we can't create that within our existing team site. We can, however, copy the existing site homepage of uh, one of these new team sites into the site pages library of uh, our existing team site. So first of all, I'm then going to go into the pages library of the new site page. I'm going to rename my existing home page back to home two. And then I'm going to copy the home page from my modern team site into the site pages library of my old team site. The first thing I'll therefore need to do is copy the URL of the site pages library of my old team site. Once I've done that, I can then navigate to the pages library of my modern team site. Now, when we choose the existing home page, we do have the option to copy to. Now, unlike in the classic experience within a SharePoint library, we only get the option to copy to another location in the same site pages library, rather than copy that document into a new location. So what we're therefore going to do is return to classic SharePoint And then on the files tab of the ribbon, we can then select the existing home page, send to, and then copy. We're then able to specify the new location for this page as the uh, t site pages library of our old team site. Now that's done. If we then go back to the site pages library of my old team site, we now have our new site homepage. A 
proposed the home link at the top of the quick launch bar. As you can see, it is reopening the same page. Therefore, this page has been specified automatically due to its name home as the new site homepage. And you will notice that we don't have that huge wasted space across the top that we had in the new site page that we created directly within the existing site. So that's how we can utilize the new modern site pages within an existing team site. So within that demonstration, we had a look at the overview of the existing old style team site homepage. We then had a look at uh, the new site page feature. We had a look at creating a site page, but what we noticed was that uh, those new pages do seem to have a lot of wasted space at the top of that page. However, the home page of a new modern team site doesn't appear to have that same wasted space. So by copying the existing site homepage from a modern team site into the site pages library of uh, an existing team site, we're then able to utilize a much more uh, presentable modern look of a homepage within an existing team site. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please make sure you contact us on learn at 3 grownet if you have any questions uh, or if you like any other information. And feel free to submit any requests for future videos as well.